presidents of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda may meet very soon for talks aimed at establishing peace in the unrest, uh, unrest hit Eastern DRC. Angola said on Thursday, Angola has been mediating in the conflict in the Eastern DRC uh, of the region of Kivu, where Rwanda backed the M23 rebels have been fighting Democratic Republic of Congo forces since the late 2021. The French news agency AFP reports that in a bid to end the unrest, diplomat diplomatic efforts have been going on for several months to bring Rwanda President Paul Kagame and the DRC Congo President uh, Felix Tshisekedi together. On Thursday, Angolan President Joao Lorenzo said during a visit to Ivory Coast that, uh, quote, we are currently negotiating at ministerial level with a view to, bring, to being able to bring together very soon the two heads of state of the DRC and Rwanda for a direct exchange on the present need to reach a definitive peace, unquote. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe police beat dozens of opposition supporters and uh, arrested several outside a court in the capital Harare on Thursday after Citizens Coalition for Change, also known as Triple C Party, members were denied bail following their arrest two weeks ago. Reuters report a Harare magistrate denied bail to the party's interim leader, Jameson Timba, and 78 activists arrested on June 16 for holding a political gathering which authorities said was unauthorized. Timba took over as interim leader of the Triple C after former leader Nelson Chamisa quit the party in January, alleging that it had been hijacked by the ruling ZANU PF party. Police anti riot units guarded the entrance to the court, and the arrests were made hours after President Emerson Munagagwa said those who were. South Sudan faces a perfect storm of violence, floods, an economic crisis, and hunger, with 79,000 people in Jonglei State facing catastrophic food insecurity, UN humanitarian said on Thursday. Overall, more than 7 million people in the country face food insecurity, an increasing of more than 20% compared to 2023 at mid-year, the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, said. It blamed underfunding the humanitarian response and new arrivals due to the conflict in neighboring Sudan as adding to the storm. The number of people facing catastrophic conditions IPC5, the highest level in parts of Jungle State in South Sudan, is projected to almost double through July, rising to 79,000 people compared to 35,000 people at the same time last year, UN Ocha said. The office said South Sudan is preparing for the worst floods in 60 years. Starting in September, the humanitarian community aims to provide life-saving assistance to 2.4 million people of the 3.3 million people expected to be affected by flooding in northern, northeastern, and central parts of the country. UN Ocha said that US dollar 26.4 million would be needed, but understanding of the humanitarian response in South Sudan is an ongoing challenge. Six months into 2024, this year's appeal for broader response efforts is less than 20% funded, with just more than 353 million of the nearly US dollar 1.8 billion required.